What's going on, man? It's your boy, Bobby the Boss. Please make sure you like and subscribe to these videos so we can keep this channel going. This video here is about all the shenanigans that goes on in this fish room. I have a 220 gallon tank. I really don't show it that much, but that's why I keep all of my big fish. I did a water change, and once I was done filling everything back up, I plugged in my FX6 and it didn't start. So I'm gonna show you what I did right, to yeah, I did um, FX6. make it go. I keep this and that being said, check it out. To be honest with you, I've probably only cleaned it out once in the past year and a half, maybe twice. Um, it works great. I've never had any issues, never had a problem with it restarting after a water change. Um, however, this time around, uh, I plugged it in, and if anybody knows the FX6, they cycle themselves off to remove the air from the canister, and they normally turn back on, um, but this time it didn't turn back on. So I had to take it apart. As you can see, it was really dirty. Um, honestly, it probably took about six months to get this filter finally cycled. So that's the reason why I didn't um, clean it out. You know, some of us make mistakes and they clean their filters out too often and doesn't give the uh, filter a chance to build up his beneficial bacteria. Um, I use tank water in a tote. I squeeze everything out. Um, you know, I don't really clean it that well. I just get the gunk off and that's pretty much it. I don't want to get rid of um, too much of the bacteria. I just like to get away the waste. I do use the hose to clean off all the plastic parts. Um, it's not that big of a deal as long as I don't get any of the hose water on the sponges or any of the media We're good to go. So once I put it all back together And plugged it back in It just didn't start up So this is when I had to take apart the motor and clean the impeller It was a bit of a pain in the butt holding the camera and the screwdriver at the same time But I think I did a pretty good job Once I got all the screws out and everything was nice and loose, I pulled the motor off. And then as you can see, it was filled with all kinds of junk. You gotta be careful with these parts of the motor also. Um, the impeller's fairly expensive and kind of fragile, so you don't wanna knock it around too much. Um, right there, I pulled off the gasket, but make sure when you put it back together, you push the gasket back on the outside lip if it doesn't go back in the right spot, it's going to cause a, a, a leak. And for all you jokesters out there, yeah, that is my big bowling ball toe. <laughs> but anyway, once it's all apart, um, I basically take the hose and I spray lightly inside the chamber. Um, I don't know if the water all over the motor would hurt it, but I try my best not to spray as much water in there as I can. The whole object is just to get the gunk out. And if there's any sand or anything like that, it'll come out once you turn it upside down and you know pour the waste out when you put it back together you got to be careful there's that little square notch right there and you have to make sure that the impeller lines right up exactly the way you took it out there's also those two little plastic things and those two holes there that you got to make sure that they line up in there perfectly um once you take it and you're ready to put it back in all you got to do is place it place it in there firmly um give it a couple little turns to make sure it's lined up and then you're good to go. Turn the impeller, make sure there's nothing grinding or um, holding it back. And then that's that, man. Just make sure the housing to the actual canister is nice and clean. Um, I didn't show it in the video, but I sprayed the inside out again to make sure there was no sand or any kind of debris left inside the uh, canister. And then uh, you just gotta place it back exactly the way you took it out. Don't do what I did and push it in upside down. Um, just make sure that you line the holes up correctly screw them back in make sure they're not too tight But just tight enough. You don't want to strip the inside plastic of the canister And once you do that you're good to go get all your media back in Make sure you fill the canister up before you plug it in. It does not self-prime. I Hope this video was helpful. See you in the next one